alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New Orleans State Palace Theater for our main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. Fighting out of the fourth corner, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the intentions. And his opponents, fighting out of the blue corner, the intentions calls. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Touch gloves, come out fighting. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. We expect a high work rate among these two fighters. Now, do you want to see that same work rate throughout the whole fight? Do you, or is that your expectation? I'd love to because we'd be having a good time and our fans, they're going to enjoy it. Good block there by bad intentions. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. 90 seconds to go here in this round. How is this strategy of employing the jab time and time again going to pay off for him? Well, it's going to be kind of like, you know, when you put your kids to sleep, you know? You get a little peace and quiet. <laughs> He's going to be left alone. He's not going to be bothered. He's not going to have a headache if he uses his jab. Gets rid of that body shot. What do you think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division? I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that, hey, they're more sure of themselves. That these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves, about confidence. And really, it's the opposite. In some ways, these big giants, they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage. They're also worried about damage being done to them. Nice block by Bad Intentions. Good counter punch. Last 10 seconds of this first round. is underway he has found his groove with his right hand that's classic work with the double jab able to cover up that gut Well-placed counterpunch by bad intentions.
fires off the combination there and it lands. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Halfway through round number two. Fourth they go, each man getting the best of it. into offense comes back with the counter punch and that's exactly what he brings to the game he makes you miss he makes you pay and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on you always say punchers are born teddy but what about a guy's ability to withstand big punches what about a guy's chin you know that's an interesting point part of it is physical and you know what it is it's the neck that's the shock absorber, but most of it's mental. You have to want to take the punches. You have to will yourself through the punches. This guy has some will. On the mark, the counter punch by bad intentions. The round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you're seeing proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. Whenever he misses you. Have to start throwing more in volume in there. Throw in volume. And round number three is underway. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by bad intentions. A crafty counter punch after a fine defensive effort by bad intentions. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Able to counter that attack. jab is really becoming an effective tool here, especially with the distance that he's keeping away from his opponent. He's doing a great job of using that stick, making sure that that jab's in his face, but then stepping out and setting traps, getting his opponent to reach in a little bit and then filling the hole. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Very clean offense from defense by bad intentions. Holmes's jab continues to carry the day. He's wanted it, he's gotten it. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Nice combination there. See, he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. The tack 
tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, it gets caught. Here we go with the fourth round. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Gets rid of that body shot. Very nice defensive guard there. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Solid counter punch by bad intentions. it upstairs just 10 seconds to go in this round bad intentions is making for a tough target there he gets away from that punch Round comes to an end here. An enjoyable night sitting ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. A lot better than our day we spent at the horse track the other day where we couldn't get any winners, at least I couldn't. But uh, we were talking about the fact that so many parallels to be made between boxing and life boxing and all these other sports we enjoy, like horse racing, of being well-conditioned and working your way up to this one singular moment. Yeah, well, the trainer obviously has to get the athlete. In this case, athlete happens to be over 1,000 pounds, and that's a horse. You know, at peak condition, he has to look at a calendar just like a trainer does with a fighter. Know when the race is, know when the fight is, and not get used up out on the track or used up, of course, in the gym. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Keep 
See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. That's a tried and true method that works out very well to counter punch landing by bad intentions. I don't know how they are keeping this up. They are setting such a scorching pace of action in this fight. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. Joe, you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Good combination. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. Combination to the head. And yet another right hand land. Wow, great action right from the start. Hey, I don't know that they can keep up this pace, but if they do, what a night we got ahead of us. Yeah, we're getting tired just watching this early part. <laughs> Keep working the jab. Some fine fundamentals. Good counter punch. Nice mouse trap day. Let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese. He used distance. Bad intentions. His training regimen probably didn't include much work defensively because he has been a sitting target all night long. Yeah, it's just not moving his head. And you know the problem when you try to block and you don't move your head, your opponent can put punches together and keep your defensive, your hand cup. But when you move your head, you create an opening. So your opponent throws a punch, he misses, he doesn't put them together. He's worried about something coming back. Right now, the opponent's not worried about anything coming back. Good block there by bad intentions. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Away from those headshots with his defense up top. You're still not moving on the boo boo. Good block. Good combination landing there. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Last 10 seconds. As that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. 
you know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. Let's see some more head movement. Let's see some more head movement. Get out of the way. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Carries that punch intended for the head. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. Halfway through this round. Hard counterpunch by bad intentions. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. Nice two punch combo by bad intentions. up nicely gets rid of his opponent's body shot devastating globe by bad intention ten seconds to go in the seventh good work now backing up what he did round comes to an end and that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic, and that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see in proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. something for his opponent after getting tagged. Able to dismiss that body shot. Gets rid of that body shot. Turns the favor with a right hand of his own. Good way to protect the midsection. 
match. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. Now, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. hit but he sends it right back able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut we come to the end of this round Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counterpunch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well-suited. He can pick him off a little bit. Well, here's the way we see it. He's down on the scorecards, has to have the knockout to win it. Yeah, and he has to understand that. You know, the main thing is he hasn't given in. You know, he's still there trying, but he's in a desperate place. So what he has to do now is look for one spot. He remembers maybe something he saw early in the night where the guy pulls out his hand down a little bit, and maybe he can time him stepping out. Throws a counter punch there. to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. He covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. No, Teddy, it just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. game paying off you can see the counter punch yeah you see the counter punch but you know what i see i see a little tentativeness now 
in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, it gets caught. Good block. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Not able to land the headshot. Holmes has chosen a path here where he will not stand toe-to-toe -to -toe opposite his opponent. He's using some very good movement here against him. Yeah, he is. He's using those feet. He's using those wheels real well. But the key here is where to use them. He has to make sure that he breaks it off to the side every once in a while, not straight back. Otherwise, he'll get time. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. those elbows in blocks the body shot end of the round here and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score yeah it was and you know it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard Marvin Hagler where Leonard stole rounds at the end where he just clipped off 30 seconds and that's exactly what the judges remembered to cover up that gut. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Nice block by bad intentions. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Combo lands to the head. Good looking counter punch. Holmes has done a really nice job of being able to land that back power hand. He's coming in with that straight punch and really scoring well. Yeah, well, he's getting a little bit of help because his opponent keeps leading with hooks in front. The old times would always say, don't lead with a hook from too far in front because the straight punch will find its way inside. <laughs> How about a return to sender with the left hand? in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. Locks that belt line well. Well, he took one right there, but then he targeted one right back. Barrage. 
Raja punches that time. Good combination. Yeah, that's what you want. You don't want one at a time. You want three or four. Very nice job landing that counter punch. Getting away from one that was coming at him. As that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear-cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Able to cover up that gut. And there he counters back against his opponent. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action non-stop. Well, Joe, when special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. up really well that time and it protects his head by bad intentions. by bad intentions. And for the official judges' scores, let's send it up to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight the judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner, bad intentions! Your winner by unanimous decision tonight. I'm not so sure it was unanimous. I had it a little bit close. I had a split decision, but had the same man winning. All three judges in agreement here ringside. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.